My name is Tiffany Stevens. I am the mother of Chance Stevens. Slow down a little. <laughs> My husband, Andy, and I had Chance when we were 18 years old. We had no idea how to be parents. However, it was time to figure it out, and that's exactly what we did. We raised our son Chance to be a good man. Chance was an amazing son, awesome big brother, and a friend who loved with his whole heart, and was and still is loved by so many. On July 19, 2020, you chose to murder our son Chance at the age of 19. Chance did not hurt you that night, nor would he ever try to harm anyone. Chance always tried to find the good in people. You claimed you didn't have anyone to take you home from the party. As I'm sitting here right now, I can honestly say, had you went to Chance and stated you needed a ride home, he would have taken you or found you a ride home. Why? Because that's just the type of kid he was. He would do anything he could for people, and if he couldn't be, if he couldn't do it himself, he would make sure that it was done by someone. You are a piece of shit individual who people will forget in a hurry. Chance, our son will never be forgotten. Because of you, we will never get to see our, our son buy a house, get married, have children, grandchildren, or become an uncle. Our daughter will never get to speak to her best friend again because of you. She will never get to become an aunt to her brother's children. I will never get to dance with my son on his wedding day. My husband will never get to coach his grandkids with his son. All things that we looked forward to doing together as a family, and you took that from us. Prison is exactly where an evil person such as yourself deserves to be. Your children will never know you. They will call someone else dad. Thank gosh they won't have you in their life because we do not need people such as you in our community. As you sit there and giggle. I will not allow you to take up space in my head just know we will see you at every parole hearing you might get. Our son Chance lost his life because of your actions, but we know he saved many people that night because you, Milton Serrano Jr., are a monster. I pray the only way you come out of prison is in a body bag. When you lay down at night on that nice cold cot, I pray you wake up getting beat and abused because that's the life path you chose for yourself.